Ah, oh, hello my friends. I, I've got to tell you, a funny, funny thing just happened. Some bloke knocks at me door, and um, I, I couldn't understand a word he was saying. All I got was that he was like, oh, I see you've got double glazed windows, but I'm uh, looking at your upstairs, you haven't. So he, what he said was he was going to, he said four times, really quickly, that he wanted to install some PVP somewhere, and he was going to do something, and then incomprehensible gibberish, and does do I want a free quotation? And I was like, no, fuck off. Can slam the door. This is like, would no, go away. I don't want a free quote. Piss off. Door-to-door -door -door salesmen aren't what they used to be. They you used to be able to understand them and then tell them to fuck off. But no, not not anymore. It's gone downhill. The practice is gone. I suppose it's still better than cold calling, but oh, no, cold calling is probably yeah. Cold calling is the worst thing in the world. Like. It, even if, like, I get, it must be really difficult to just go door to door and be like, oh, can you please buy something? This is how I get my paycheck. And try and make it look convincing. But still, I thought, I did ask for you to be in a poor position where you had to go around whoring yourself out. I don't want your shit. Oh, dear. As, no, cold calling's fucking disgusting, though. It's so, like, I, my, um, my, I, I, I know I should be narrating the battle, but this first one was awful. Like, seriously, it wasn't very good. I think he's got, like, a level 53 Snorlax. That kind of says a lot. I mean, I, I, I think he had some interesting sets. That, that That's where the speed fucked up on Tyranitar. But, oh well, that's, that's my fault. I should have been paying more attention. But, yeah, I, I, I learned... Because, um, my dad, he absolutely despises people who knock on your door and try and sell you shit. And he absolutely hates cold calling. And he does a lot of re he's really good at like telling them to get fucked in rather interesting ways. Uh, he told me a story about some guy knocked on his door uh, when he was um, a bit younger, or maybe when when I was younger, or we were living here. And um, he was like, "Oh yes, I shall. Would you like a new electricity company? We've got first rate. You know, we're really good rates." And it was, this was a really determined guy. And my dad was like, no, we don't want anything. We got, we like our electricity company. So the guy, like, put his foot in the door to try and stop my dad from closing. So my dad just slammed the door on his foot and told him to get fucked. And I was like, yeah! Ah, oh, dear. I say, if you, um, if you want to laugh, there are some really amazing cold calling stories. By the way, I'm astounded Zapdos did not kill that. Astounded. But I suppose when you get down to it, level 53 Snorlax has still probably got quite a lot of HP. So, whatever. But no, it's, it's just really funny. Like, um, I can't, I, there was, I, I, he was telling me, like, a lot of people, because you know how cold callers work, they'll call you up and then just ask you something, and they're usually preying on old people, because old people don't really know any better. They think they might, you know, that these people are trying to help them, and it's a really disgusting practice. So there's one guy who, um, oh, what he did was, a cold caller called him up. So, he actually led the guy on, like you know, the cold caller was like, "Oh, can you can you, can you uh, go into your computer and because we think you've got a virus and you know we can see your computer from here and all that crap." You know, the really evil ones that properly prey on the old people and just people don't know any better. So he led him on. And he went into this stuff and it, he led him on for led the guy on for about an hour and then just after the hour he um. You know, the guy was like, okay, I think we finally got into your computer now. And so the guy turns around like, no, you haven't. What I've done is I've hacked into your entire server database. I've got all your information. And now I'm going to publish all your information on the internet so that everyone can see what wankers you are. I mean, it, yes, they didn't call him again. <laughs> it's pretty good. You know, there's quite a lot of fun stories like that. But, yeah, um, I was going to, yeah, I should be narrating this battle, but like I say, this first one's pretty poor. I mean, the guy started off, like, trying to sucker punch and dark pulse my Tyranitar, I guess, just to break the sash, but whatever. And then I'm pretty sure he started going, like, flamethrower with a Charis? I don't know. The next one is against Cody Jumo, and um, he was kind enough to take some of the illegal moves off of his Pokemon that I pointed out. I believe he said in the comments someone pointed out, like, you can't get close combat on a Charizard. And he was like, oh, well, Smogon told me he could. Like, now, the only thing I can think of that would get it is Arcanine? I, I don't know. Anyway, this guy's just throwing shit away, and Tyranitar's just beast mode in it and crunching his way through life, so... Yeah, Ty Tyranitar. This set's actually enjoyable. 
He does have a sash. I figured he'd have a sash, but Tan, fuck it. Don't care. So now goes Tyranitar. <laughs> yeah, this, this went pretty well. Uh, see, like I said, it just felt like relevant story. I, I, I don't know. Do, do you know anyone who cold calls? Because if they do, they have no soul. They are horrible people. I, I'm sure they're just trying to make ends meet, but there's got to be some moral objection to what they're doing somewhere, and yet they continue to do it. Eh, <sighs> whatever. Anyway, I think mean, it, fuck it, Snorlax, he goes brick break, look how little that does. Look how just pitiful the damage is there, it's quite funny. In fact, even without the Chobal, he brick breaks against Snorlax still takes it like a beast. Ah, oh, good old Snorlax. So good. So good. So now I go, well, the hack just goes down to the sandstorm. Snorlax is looking pretty peachy right now. I've completely lost track of what was going on here. I really have. I just wanted to narrate these battles. But in comes Charizard. And, um, he has fly. He is a flying Charizard. And, oh. What a pain in the nuts. Yeah, I swear, like I said, when I recorded these battles, because um, I had a break from recording yesterday, because my mate found a game that he wanted to try and see if it was alright, but I, I swear to God, it's fucking amateur error, but I'm just going to go into Dog Trio, because why not? And, you know, I believe I go Stone Age and Miss, yeah, and he goes Fly again, this is like, just Flamethrower! For the love of all the Tollies! So I think, fuck it, I'll just Hone Claws, and then I'll kill him! And I will kill him! Because Dog Trio. Ah, uh, it would have been really. I cut the fly didn't even bring me down to the sash. It's a Dog Trio for God's sake. Most frail thing in the world. Whatever, I win. Now the next battle is slightly more interesting. Slightly. Like I say, Cody Gmo seems like quite a nice bloke, but you, like I say, you you gotta practice a bit more, and and then you'll be pretty good. So, uh, yeah, he's got, what is that, Pikachu, a Victini, a Jellicent, a Harry Armour, a Landorus, and a Zorok. Um, which is cool. I think, what is that, two Zoroks? Two Zoroks in a row. That's interesting. See, no one uses Zorok anymore, because Team Reveal absolutely shat on it. <laughs> Just, oh, dear. And the other thing is, I don't, like, the AI in game, I honestly doubt it changes what attacks it will use. I really do. I mean, like... If you randomly copy, like, a slow bro or something, and you're against a Hitmonlee, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna go high jump kick anyway. The AI isn't smart enough to comprehend the illusion. So, whatever. I don't see the point in it. It's a very cool idea, but for 4th gen, yes. 5th, no. That said, in 4th, it probably would've just gone Ubers, because, yeah. Anyway, Jess is here. I'm thinking, hey, let's go Stealth Rock. And uh, he's going to go Surf. And Tyranitar takes that pretty well. Pretty well? Yeah, pretty fucking well, all things considered. Holy hell. I was expecting a Wisp, but whatever. I do whatever he wants. So, since that did absolutely peanuts, I'm just going to go for a Crunch. And it doesn't kill, but it does get pretty close. And I do get a defense drop. And then it goes Ice Beam. I don't quite know where you're coming from with that one. Maybe if I switched into Zapdos? But... Why would I switch into Zapdos? <laughs> and I knew I was going to 2 you. I knew I could take more than two of your serves. I was pretty cool on that one. So yeah, down goes the jelly. Tyranitar still sitting here being Tyranitar. The awesome, awesome, awesome poke that it is. And he's going to bring in Landorus. And that's fair dues. But I, I ain't gonna stick around for an Earth Power. So I'm thinking, alright, I'm just gonna play it. I'll Ice Beam it. There you go, Earth Power. And yeah. I actually, I, I really need to try out the Life Orb. Was it Sheer Force Landorus? Because I've never really tried it. But everyone seems to be hopping on that bandwagon. Which is really strange because Scarfed Sand Force was so beastly. But you go with Sludge Wave, and I'm pretty sure most of them carry HP Ice. So whatever. And I Ice Beam, and it dies. So. Well done, Clado. Just champing it. Because it's Clado, and Clado's awesome. I love a bit of Clado. So, yeah. Overall, going quite well. I'm not particularly threatened, but he's going to go into Hariyama. Again, not entirely sure why. Not entirely sure. 
And uh, he's going to go fake out. I'm pretty sure, buddy. Yeah, if you got a Zorok, that might have been the smarter option. Just saying. But Harry Armour's here. He does get the uh, Gots boost from the Toxic Orb. Um, but I've Clado, and Clado outspeeds, I go Psychic, and I nearly kill it, and then he goes close combat, and, yeah. Clado's gonna take that, because it's a Clado, and it's awesome. I actually really like this Clado now, it just does so much work, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it, it does exactly what I needed to do, tank a hit, rapid spin, maybe get a hit off, then die. It, perfect. That's all I want. But he's going to go into Zorok now, again, I could have gone Earth Power, but pfft, don't care. Um, I'm kind of bemused about why Zorok didn't transform. I could have sworn it transformed into the next thing on the list, but whatever. So, Zorok's here, and I'm thinking, well, Claydell's done alright, I guess I can let it go. It's done pretty good, so he's just going to go Night Days and take out my Claydell, and I was like, well, okay. <laughs> free switch into whatever the hell I want to go into, and I see the life orb, and, well, Dotrio, really? Dotrio can probably kill just about everything on his team. So I just go Earthquake, and I one-shot the Zorok, because Sand Force Dotrio is awesome! Oh, it's amazingly good. As long as you, like say, as long as you can keep it Sash, it's awesome. You know, you're going to 2 KO most things at end game. But he's going to bring back in the Harry armor. Uh, and I don't really want my Dodger to take a fake out. I can't remember what priority fake out is. It's like 6 or something, isn't it? It's something ludicrously high. But I think, fuck it. Go on a Tyranitar. And he fakes out. It doesn't do much. And Sand, and I believe he lives with, yeah, he lives with a teeny weeny bit. But, cool. I go Crunch, he dies. Tyranitar's quicker. I really like this Tyranitar now. It's ah, oh, surprisingly good. Doesn't do it justice. I don't know why I had so much trouble with the damn thing, especially when the set that I, I think I'm pretty sure is TML who recommended it to me is pretty bloody simple. But in comes Victini, and I'm pretty sure I just let Titar die, and he goes Focus Blast and cool beanies. I, I'm not worried again. So down goes Giant Art, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, Life Orb, Life Orb, so Dogtrio. Result. Really? They bring in Dogtrio, and then I can EQ and kill him again. I could have gone Hone Claws. I just, yeah. In fact, I do go Hone Claws. Wow, I didn't remember that one. So he goes Focus Blast, he does hit me. I don't actually think it brings me down to my Sash. Oh, I live on four. Go, Dogtrio. See, I probably don't need the Sash in some cases, but there are a lot of cases where, like, Mac Punch, Ape, Aqua Jet, Azumarill, the Sash is very helpful. So, little things like that. But now, now I can just Dogtrio him to death. I didn't even get to use Snorlax. I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, man. Dogtrio and Snorlax are really, really, really good. In comes Pikachu, and, oh, I actually do get to use Snorlax, because he's going to fake out and kill me. I know I have had a couple of run-ins with um light is it light ball light ball Pikachu. I used one on fourth gen in battles a long time ago, and it was fucking abysmal. It's so bad. I tried like using a sub agility and baton pass Carl Mines with it from Zelebi. It was shockingly bad. Oh poor Pikachu. Anyway, hope you enjoyed little crappy battles, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.